that in many instances, people who could point her or someone like her in the right direction don't know that that person is depressed because, to all intents and purposes, this lady and her son were coping quite well. Again, that's very characteristic. People hide it. They, they feel guilty about feeling this terrible sort of winter in their mind. They, they feel it's they've lost God. That's often what people say, is they've lost their soul, they've lost God, and they feel in some way that it's a punishment. And they think people will blame them for it. And that's what's so important. From a lesson to be learned from a story like this is, you know, whatever you think of anybody, you must never, ever blame someone with depression because it's a very severe illness like any other. What I really was uh, sad about it is that we, there aren't many places of sanctuary, you know. There's nowhere for people to go so that rather than walking out onto a bridge, if only she could have walked to a place where she could have felt safe, where somebody, professional people, could have assessed her and looked after her and her son. And those places are around? There are very few of those places, mm. and that's what we campaign, to have more of those places, because people with depression are ill. They're as ill as with any... You know, for instance, one way of saying depression is a bit like um, the sadness, the ordinary sadness you and I feel, is to depression, a bit like a normal cells are to cancer. Somehow, the disease, the illness, takes over that person's mind. And really, it needs time and rest and some skilled help to get back to positively thinking about a future.